Hey, what's up everybody? Jay Ho here with another Cycle Frontier tutorial guide. And today we're gonna go over how damage and penetration actually works in the Cycle Frontier. So if you're new to the channel, you do find this helpful, make sure to click the like button on the video and to subscribe to the channel for new Cycle Frontier videos. So the first thing we're gonna look at here is going to be the penetration chart. So the penetration chart basically means what your penetration is. You can see my dog walking in the background <laughs> uh, versus uh, the armor. So your like blue armor will have 30 pen, uh, but you need a gun with uh, essentially 30 pen to be able to break through evenly and get 100% damage. And that does go up and down. As you can see on the chart here, the big bump up is once you hit negative five or higher you'll see that there is a large increase um, and it just kind of goes up from there pretty significantly um, so penetration is super super important uh, just make sure to keep that in mind as you look through this chart uh, this all this info is actually came from no food after midnight he's a big part of the tarkov community he did a lot of data mining in escape from tarkov so if you don't know that game you might not know him uh, but i'm going to link the reddit thread into the description below as well as his twitch channel make sure to go check him out he definitely helps out a ton um, so basically what we're going to go through here is just a few different ways that this does work um, as far as hitboxes go uh, as you can see here that it is about 100 percent on the chest with arms being at 90 percent and legs being roughly 75 percent uh, for the multipliers now with this you also see that the armor does cover your arms and your legs so there is no leg meta currently uh, there may be in the future if you play tarkov you know what i mean you can just shoot somebody in the leg there's no armor you can drain their health down that way uh, but at no point shooting in the legs helps or the arms so definitely you always want to aim for the chest or the head there is no leg meta first tip um, now as far as ammo converters um, these just add penetration so depending on the color uh, you'll either get one extra pen three extra pen or five extra pen for the purple so it is important to make sure that uh, you know to get those little bit of damage buffs as you can see in the chart that it actually does add quite a bit um, so they they are super nice to add on now your rusty weapons and your regular weapons uh, the main difference is that they they just don't have attachments on the rusty weapons other than that they are exactly the same there is no damage decrease for a rusty weapon versus a regular weapon so there's not really much of a difference is unless you have attachments on it now the creature damage modifications they do add either 20 percent 40 percent or 60 percent extra damage now these are two creatures only this doesn't happen to uh characters so your pvp your uh, prospectors so it only happens to the creatures which is super nice when you're you know fighting a jeff or uh you know bigger you know they, it definitely will help you out with taking them down now headshots actually are different for every weapon uh your more single aimed uh weapons uh single fire like your dmrs your snipers they tend to have higher multipliers for headshots whereas your smgs and your shotguns actually have the least damage multiplier so it's important to know uh that your snipers will definitely help out now speaking of snipers the gray sniper actually for some reason uh is less affected by armor than any other weapon the gray sniper is kind of a broken gun in the game um as of right now you can definitely just shoot somebody in the head and it doesn't matter really what the helmet is you're still getting really really good damage output now melee attacks the melee attacks will always do chest damage so that's what they're always be aimed for and they have 10 penetration uh if you do a light attack then you just slice really quick it does 45 damage heavy attacks actually buff up and do 75 damage that's why when you hold it and you swing at the striders you can one shot them so now that's it there isn't really too much to go over as far as the damage outputs on the cycle frontier it's nice that they even have you know the the gray the green the blue the purple and the gold rarities uh definitely makes it a lot easier than you know counterpart games like escape from tarkov very low entry level of knowing it you know you don't have to research online for days to figure out a ton of info 
Uh, but hopefully this info helps you. If it does, make sure to click the subscribe button so that way you get new Psycho Frontier video updates. We only got about a week left of the beta. So uh, enjoy the, next, uh, the rest of the game and uh, we'll see you next time.